hey, use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel. You get a free $20 to play with. Also, check out my links down in the description for Twitter, Twitch, second and third channels for all different types of content that you might enjoy. So be sure to check it out and let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengalian here coming back at you with another video. Today we're doing another prospect breakdown. Per usual, we're going to start off with uh, my quick breakdown of the prospect, pro comparison, pro con, you know, projection, things like that. Three good fits. But we will go into a more extended breakdown a little bit later, about halfway through the video, where I segue into the seventh round bus podcast, of course, available on YouTube and eventually SoundCloud, iTunes, and wherever you find your uh, your podcast, usually Spotify. So that's on the channel. You can check out the seventh round bus podcast playlist. Definitely make sure to watch some of those. But let's get into Jalen Ferguson. Everyone's telling me to check this guy out. Jalen Ferguson, he's a beast. He broke the NCAA record for sacks in a career. Got to check him out. Let's go ahead and check out the pros and the cons. So Jalen Ferguson, he's a six foot five, two hundred and seventy pound defensive end out of Louisiana Tech. Go Bulldogs, right? He's got great size for the position. Six five, two seventy. It's ideal. And he's got a good swipe move. His pass rush moves overall are pretty good. The push pull after the swipe is also solid. And he's a high motor guy that wins with effort. Also is a strong tackler. If he gets his hand on you, you're going down. Hands or hand. It doesn't matter. He's going to make a ton of nice plays where he uses one hand to drag down either the quarterback or the running back, whoever has the football. And he has strong hands when he's run defending. He's also pretty good at diving back into gaps uh, and shutting down the run. However... I think his cons kind of outweigh the pros for me, and I think this is a super overhyped prospect because I don't think sacks tell the full story at the NCAA level for a number of reasons, uh, especially when a lot of that is effort. Some of that goes to the competition that you're playing against. Um, also, a lot of that can be both scheme dependent, and there are a ton of variables like clean up and unblocked. Um, and he just plays way too high. It's terrible for leverage. His pad level gets real high. He gets stood up pretty easily a lot, and he is not an edge bender. This is not a guy that I can really see being an effective 4-3 defensive end. Maybe he can slide inside, put on a little bit of weight. You're looking at someone that could get up to maybe 6'5", 280, 285 early on, uh, depending on if he can build up a lot of weight. Uh, and he's inconsistent in the run defense. I talked about how he can dive back into those gaps, but a lot of the time he's overpowered by, uh, by offensive linemen that just frankly are bigger and stronger and they play lower and it's a leverage game that's what football is and and Jalen Ferguson to me falls a uh, victim of that pretty often because he gets stood up his hands as far as a pass rusher they're average they're not too quick he has some good pass rush moves but they're not too quick they're not incredibly strong on a down-to-down -down basis as a pass rusher we talked about how they're a little bit strong as a run defender but when he's playing with leverage, he's a much better player, and he just doesn't do that often enough for me by any means, and he's someone that is not going to beat double teams. He's not someone that, like, you know, or Nick Bosa or Cleveland Furl, where he's going to split those, get inside, overpower Aaron Donald, you see, at the NFL level. He's just going to be absolutely useless. Double teams completely take him out, and uh, I don't think he's ever going to be someone that's double teamed at the NFL level. He is overpowered quite easily, both as a pass rusher and a run stopper his bull rush is super super weak and it's something he goes to far too often for me his comparison is Deshaun Hall I remember Deshaun Hall at Texas A&M get after the quarterback uh, but definitely not at a consistent level thus far in the NFL someone that has moved around a little bit and um, I, I just don't see Jalen Ferguson being much more than a situational pass rusher at best maybe in a 3-4 he can probably be a situational guy in a 4-3 coming off the edge, but the edge bend just is not there. He is not an edge bender whatsoever, uh, much like O'Shane Zimenez out of Old Dominion. Big effort player. I think that's where he's really going to find a home. Um, and I think as far as projection goes, he's probably going to get drafted in the mid-round somewhere, third, fifth, sixth, maybe uh, fourth, even. I skipped over that one. His value for me is the fifth round. I think he's a rotational player at best, certainly not a three-down player. Uh, plays way too high on a down-to-down -down basis, and winning with effort is great, but he's not a guy that has the athleticism for me um, or the the technique to, to win uh, most often at the NFL level. So sorry to disappoint a lot of you LA Tech fans. You don't have to value my opinion, but 
That's what it shows to me on tape. This is not a consistent player for me. I think his sack totals are a lot of the time due to circumstance, which is fine. Big playmaker at the college level, but a lot of the time uh, he's getting those sacks either unblocked or cleanup sacks for the quarterback rolls right into him or holds onto the ball for too long. He records most of his best work against weaker competition. Not really a player I'm very much excited about. So NCAA sack record holder, not a player I like very much. So let's go ahead and get into more extended breakdown on the seventh round bus podcast with wheels. Let's talk about Jalen Ferguson. All right. I'm, I'm going to let you start. All right. So Jalen Ferguson, uh, DN, redshirt senior. He is 23 years old, so he's a little bit older than uh, your typical draft mm-hmm. eligible player. 6'5". I've seen... Now, this is a weird one because he was at like 250 before. I have, ballooned I have up 270. to 280. And then yeah. I believe he lost some weight. I have 270 two, written 270. down. 270. So I have 270 written down. He honestly, it wouldn't sh- shock me if he was like 260 either. Um, NCAA sack record holder, career sack record holder. Which is pretty ridiculous. Broke, uh, I believe it was Terrell Suggs' record. Uh, Ball from so hard university. From Louisiana Tech. Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting player. I, I, we were talking a little bit before the podcast, and we both said that interesting is like a good way it's, to it's describe It's really Jaylen the best Ferguson. word to describe him. Um, so, and I think uh, you, you'll probably find with our both of our draft analysis we it wouldn't shock me if you have a completely different analysis of him than See, I do. here's here's the thing a lot of people like have loved this guy and they told me this guy is so good he's fantastic and then other people i know are a lot less high on him than that yeah yeah so i think starting off i think he he's got pr- pr- uh pretty good play recognition he knows you know Mm-hmm. for you know if it's a run if it's a pass i think he is a much better pass rusher than a run stopper and that has mm-hmm. to do with uh he has bad hands not very good with his hands uh trying to shed blocks and uh and that's another thing with him i don't think he plays through blocks very well or contact very well probably because he doesn't he isn't very good with his hands i think he plays way too high up as a dn if he got lower i think he get he could do much better and uh mm-hmm. but i will say some place he looks unbelievable and then other plays, especially if the ball is going away from him, it seems like he almost gives up on the play. Yeah. And uh, so for me, I think he's a good player for uh, teams needing pass rush help as like an extra rusher. But I don't think he's really like an every down guy or a guy that you really need right now. But he is playing in the senior bowl. That should be very interesting to see how he plays in the senior bowl. But I'm, I will say he's probably like a uh, mid-round guy for me. I'm not as hyped as about him as I am uh, as other people are with him but I there's potential there there's definitely potential there with Jalen Ferguson I am not a huge fan personally I know like everyone was getting me hyped up like oh this you know basically you could call Louisiana Tech a small school and I just don't think the sack numbers are really warranted I don't really care about that he gets a bunch of sacks I think a lot of them are situational and uh basically by happenstance I don't think he's winning to get these sacks a lot of the time i have written down 65 270 so he has fantastic size for a defensive end but he's not a great edge bender at all mm-hmm. i really don't think he fits best as a 4-3 defensive end or a 3-4 outside linebacker i think he'd work best by moving into the inside he doesn't really have a great first uh, step not quick at all but he does have pretty good pass rush moves he has a good swipe move which is basically a uh, a push to then pull inside and then swipe past. So you'll see guys like Von Miller do some of that. And he does surprise me with how quick he can be on some plays with that push-pull move. Uh, but he really gets bodied in run defense. He's oh, he's yeah. bad. He's like Sometimes he'll shed and then burst through the hole, but it's kind of a rarity. Doesn't perform well at all against double teams, but he does have a high motor, so he wins sometimes with effort, but his hands are average. He's not overpowering or overly athletic. And his bull rush is pretty weak. He is a strong tackler, which I do like. But this is a guy that gets overpowered very easily, disappears completely at times, and then he'll sometimes get an effort play at you know when the quarterback's in, been in the pocket for four seconds, like super long, and then kind of run into him. So some of these sack numbers, I don't think are are fantastic. I don't care. Um, and I think his hands can be strong in the run game at times, but. He isn't nearly explosive or quick enough to win consistently. 
And uh, the last thing I have written down is his pad level has a tendency to get way too high, yep. which is terrible for leverage. Um, and if you're playing straight up as a defensive end, it's going to be really, really tough to win. And he does that a lot. And I think that's why he has a tendency to disappear. Probably he would fit best as a 3-4 defensive end. And my draft projection for him is the fifth round NFL comparison is Deshaun Hall. I remember Deshaun Hall at A&M being, mm. being a guy that showed it sometimes and other times disappeared. And I think Deshaun Hall is more of an athlete. I'm not a huge fan of Jalen Ferguson at all. I do have three good fits, though, as the Carolina Panthers, the Buffalo Bills, and the Tampa Bay Bucks all could uh, use a rotational pass rusher, which is probably what Jalen Ferguson is, a rotational pass rusher, not a three-down guy. So yeah. I, I, am, I am not high on this player at all. We're pretty much... Like same spot, yeah, same spot with them. Then so like, yeah, it's just I don't know. I I, I could see why people are hyped about him, but like it's they see. I think they see the sack numbers. Yeah, and that's they, it. I think I think that part of it has to do with he has sack numbers. But you got to remember, four year starter in Conference USA, like yeah, that's I mean, pr- uh, kind of probably the reason why his numbers are so inflated. Um, he's but, not going up against good competition. Yeah, at so all. Senior like, Bowl uh, should be a little bit. You know, if he has a great Senior Bowl, that's going to do so so good uh, help out his draft stock a lot a lot of these things can be uh can be coached out of him though like yeah. the athleticism is a problem but yeah i mean you're obviously going to uh get coached down to play lower as a defensive end yeah and so the pad level getting too high like that can be a problem and that can be something that's hard to overcome but if he plays lower he's gonna have more success mm-hmm. i don't i don't know how strong he is though it's 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 a weird player he has a like basically ideal size for a uh, for a defensive end, but he just doesn't show it for me regularly yep. enough to to warrant being anything higher than a mid round pick. Yeah, I I, w- I would say he's a mid round pick. Um, just if he gets better with his hands and the pad level, he'd that's, be pretty that's good. Hard, though. But it's it's hard to get. Uh, I don't know. They're they're strong, but they're not quick. He doesn't. If you're it's, gonna, it's weird. If you're gonna draft him, you you're drafting kind of a project player here. You yeah. don't you don't want this guy as your every down edge guy. You, d- you, no. you really don't. He just doesn't play that way.